Hi everybody, Alexis here, Diamond Painting from the D. This is going to be a quick video, I promise you. I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one I cannot really show you right here. Because I think it's from uh, Game of Thrones. A friend of mine gave me. And um, I'm going to hold it up so that you can see all the lines through it. Well, those are actually on the canvas too. You could run a cruiser through those, okay? An ocean liner. So guess what? I can't do it. I just can't. And the symbols are so messed up. I, I can't see it. So guess what's going to happen to this one? Boom. Toss it. I'm 60 years old, people. Partial of a dinosaur. A partial. Only thing this is good for is keeping the plastic. So guess what happens to this one? Boom. Oh, it's February. She gave me a Santa Claus. Again, another partial. I think this heifer went through her stash and said, rejects. I'll give them to her. So again, I taught her to do the same thing I do, mark them. So, again, only good for the plastic. This is so ugly. Just ugly. Look at his face. Where's his face? All they got is some eyeballs. Yeah. I'll be doing this one. No. Toss it. Now, this was the only one that I said I would like to do because I would like to put it under some acrylic. You do the wings, the trees, this tree right here, and this part of her headdress. But the silly girl didn't give me the drills. So I'm going to make her find it. But until then, toss it. This is what I'm working on now. Betty Boop. Betty Betty Boop Boop. And she's coming out really nice, except for one thing I don't like. I'm going to zoom in, so please be patient. Let me get in on her face. You see the training wheels? Yeah. Don't like training wheels. Because no matter what, unless you put them down one by one, and I am a multi-placer kind of person, you can't get them straight. Yeah. But I'm working through it. I'm going slow because she really is my last one. She's my last one. So, like I said, this was going to be a short video. But she's coming out really nice. Mm-hmm. Let me zoom back here a little bit. See, she's got some sparkle to her. She really does. She's really pretty. I've had her for a couple of years now. Yeah, I'm going to try and finish her by Valentine's Day. I would have been done with her, but I'm going really slow. Because again, like I said, she's my last one. Yeah, my sad ass dash. Everybody else's took like an hour, two hours to show you their stash. I took exactly three minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so I'm taking my time until I can get some more. But look at her. Isn't she turning out beautiful? Except those, those training wheels. I would have been done with her. But... She's really nice. But I have a question for anybody that can answer this. Why does Betty Boop's face look like a child? But, you know, the big innocent looking eyes that still got her little fat from her cheekbones. But then they give her this body. Is that some kind of freaky going on? And then they give her a puppy. Her dog never grew up, no matter how old she got. Her dog never grew up. So I just wanted to know if anybody knows. And why doesn't she have a neck? Why doesn't Betty Boop have a neck? Mm -hmm. Her lips come straight down into her chest. And she's got a banging body. Look. 
And the skirt, personally, is a little bit too short for my liking. Mm -hmm. If I was her mama, she would have never had. Never, never, never. Because she looked like she about six years old. But she got boobies and everything. Look at her legs. Yeah, she's got legs. And she knows how to use them. But then she has no neck. Childlike face, innocent looking eyes. And um, a banging Lou going on up here. She's got a banging hairstyle. I mean, nowadays, I'm still back to wearing the little Betty Boop curls. But, yeah, I was just wondering why she got the face of a child and the body of a, of a woman. She got the body of a woman, but the face of a child. Mm-hmm. But I'm almost there with her. It'll take me a couple of more days. My back is see yesterday. Just to, you know, get it taken care of. And I was in uh, Miss Coffee's Live and I couldn't even pick up a diamond painting pen. I just had to sit and watch the live. And I want to thank Miss Coffee for putting that one hour whip and chat challenge out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yes, ladies and germs, this is my sad ass stash of diamond paintings. I will not do simply because this one here will be hell on wheels. Hell on wheels. I can't even see the symbols. Do you? And I would have looking really, really close to see them. But look, that just looks like a blob. It just looks like a blob. Yeah, this is sad. This is pathetic. I'm going to show you. One of the rivers starts right here. And it goes all the way across. This one, all the way across. I can't do that. I, I can't make myself that crazy. Yeah, what you see on the outside is actually underneath the paper. Yeah, I would spend more time trying to fix it. And I'm pretty sure they would still pop up. Tossed. A dinosaur. Mm -mm. Only good for the plastic. A funky looking Santa Claus with a funky looking reindeer. Toss it. I'm going to make her find me the drills to this so that I can do it. Because I do want to put her under an acrylic pour. I think she'll turn out pretty. I really do. But again, I don't like too many partials. And then there's Betty Boop. Betty, Betty Boop Boop. Betty Boop. Yeah, I'm enjoying her. Even though those training wheels drive me crazy. But she's got a lot of sparkle to her. And she's going to go with some um ba -ba -bum pink duct tape. Because I am the duct tape queen. Mm-hmm. I am the duct tape queen. I love it. I think it looks pretty on the diamond paintings. I'm them up if I wanted to with the little accents of, you know, duct tape going around it. But you know that drove me crazy with this one was this little piece of tape down here at the bottom. I just snatched off the washi tape to show you guys how, you know, far out it came. Yeah. And then I had to put some duct tape over here on the side. Because my arm kept sticking to it. So, yeah. But she's coming along really, really pretty. So, that's my sad-ass little stash. Mm -hmm. Of diamond paintings I will never, ever do. Nope, can't do it, won't do it, not prudent. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, what you put out there will always come back to you. Tell them, Betty. It'll come back to you. So put our love, peace, and understanding. Until we meet again, ladies and germs. Bye.